All right, people. Quick update and um, answer some questions because I can. I got a lot of messages about these straps, the freezer straps, or nine line curtains. Um, I'm gonna put some links in the description that way y'all got that. But I got it set up. Let's take a look. Let's go inside for a second. Show y'all some of the changes. Okay. Let's start here. I'll put an additional outlet right there to run this um reel extension core reel 50 foot reel it swings out like that and i can swing a cord outside for power like for a heat gun everything at the table uh works good plus i'm wiring a light for outside to that there all right uh you know got my wireless wet wipes bolted to the wall i put this cabinet in it's one of these key keter plastic joints. It works good. It's no problem. This lock is only so it doesn't fly open, but ain't secure. But in here, this is where I put my tires at and fuel. So I got it set up with truggy tires, buggy wheels um, packed in here. These are unmounted. These are the mounted ones. I keep them at the bottom. These tires I got to clean. So I keep the mounted ones down there. And then up here, I got the fuel. So I'll grab a bottle of fuel. Hey, let me show y'all. These are the new bottles. They're not bad. The spout fits on there. So if you got the aluminum spouts, fits on there, no problem. So if you order fuel, these are probably gonna be the bottles you're gonna get just for a little while till June. Um, they remind me of like the peroxide bottles, the old brown peroxide bottles, but they work, it's no problem. You know, different bottles, same great taste, but that's the new bottles, all right? But your luminous box does fit, okay? So, I keep that down in there. Shut that back, okay? Uh, move the cars over, put them down there. All right, so that's kind of the same. Coming over here, I put a little vice in. I, this is a three-inch vice. I was going to go with a four, but I don't need all that. Got a little anvil, so I, if I need to straighten something out, bang right there. This that plus is mobile, so I can take it out and move it. Now, because I took a lot of stuff out, like I took the 10 out, um, air compressor, all that. I got tons of storage down here now. Plenty of room. Got the uh, spare, bolted and strapped back there. Got my water back there. I need it. And keep the table up there, a little stool. So that's plenty of storage back there, no problems. Up here, I set up the pegboard a little bit, some gloves, safety glasses. Got my radio strapped in really nice, that ain't going nowhere. Got the um, my headsets right here, little things to hold batteries, stuff like that. Chargers, I cleaned up that wiring real quick. Also ran another outlet, same like this, just up top here behind the TV. Because what I notice is once I start plugging stuff in here, them outlets fill up fast. So I tacked in another outlet up there, another four banger behind the TV. So that frees that up. Charger and all that plugged into that. Charger for the headsets. All that's going to stay like that. Pegboard popping. See what I mean? Paper towel holder here. This is like my consumable section. Whereas though, I mount these in the desk. So they ain't going nowhere, but... Got my diff fluids and shock fluids. This is what I run, if y'all don't know. Good stuff. Um, you get that at bonesmotorsports.com. See that? Okay. And I'm telling y'all, you get more for the same money as the Lucas. Get four ounces instead of two for the same price. Good stuff. That's what I've been using. All right. So like I said, this is the consumable section. All right. Got my tools mounted up pegboard wise. And I went with um, magnetic, these strips, because it'll hold the tools better. Because once you're riding around, things will jump around. So they, see that? The magnet's grabbing to hold it. If you think about doing a trail or whatever, man, listen, invest in bungee cords. Bungee cords, bungee cords, bungee cords. All right. You can see I put the handles on. A little messy, just kind of junk drawer electric stuff, but... You know what I mean? 
I'll fix this drawer to open this way. Parts down there. To me. Okay. This is a little one gallon quiet compressor. I like this joint. It ain't to blow your cars off when you wash them, but like say you need some air. Boom, right there. And it's super quiet. Super quiet. So I mounted that here. That ain't going nowhere. Put accessories to blow the cars out. These are really nice peg drawer drawers. So what like say I'm doing doing flock shock fluid or dip fluid, I just unscrew it like that. And I got a little jar. That way I ain't gotta, you know, waste nothing. Put it all in there, then you dump it outside. To me. Alright. Put the setup board there. This is where I do like Mariah height, camera gauge. If nobody's pitting here. I set my, you know, camera gauge and stuff up there. Move the coffee pot over here. Bolted that in really nice. So that ain't going nowhere. Refrigerator, microwave, all that's still the same. All right. Okay, let me show you one other thing too. Okay, I'm back. I had a phone call. All right, chairs. I went with these, right? Let me tell you why. They don't swivel, just doesn't move, and there's no armrest, but I like these. These are called DJ chairs, all right? I had one already. I just bought another one, but the reason why I like these and went with these, got a little footrest for your foot to stand there, but because this seat is adjustable, meaning height, all this will adjust height-wise, so you can lower it or raise it. And I like that because if, um, like, I'm short, I'm like five, six, something like that, five, 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 six. My feet probably will swing, dangle with another kind of stool. This way, I know for sure I can adjust to what I like. All right. It's a little knob on the back here. Let me show you. Around here. Little knob here, right there. Knob there, undo that, and this whole thing will lift up. See the holes? So you can adjust it. They slide in there. I got them strapped in like that. Boop. Got some hooks underneath there to strap them in. And they ain't going nowhere. They're called Odyssey DJ Chairs. I'm going to put a link in the description, all right? Now, I got a lot of questions about this floor. And I got tons of questions about the freezer straps or nylon straps, okay? First, let's deal with the floor. The floor, I got the floor for Amazon, just really regular peel and stick, right? The floor works good, it's not a problem. It's easy to clean up. Only issue I found is when I had that protect bag, if you slide something across here black, it'll leave a mark and then you gotta scrub it off. But otherwise that is easy to clean, sweep it up, no problems. It worked out good. I mean, I haven't had no issues. I did take this out to a race Saturday. And uh G's um, at night race. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't film because it was really fast. It was only 25 entries. And let me tell you something. It was popping fast. Shout out to everybody I met out there. The guys came down from New York. They came down from Manhattan. Four hours. Crazy. But that's the eye of the tiger shit. I can dig it. So um, I, did, I did good. Qualifiers I did really well. Um, I got second in Truggy. And I, both, I made both A mains. I got second in Truggy. And I blew it <clears throat> in buggy. And I'm going to tell you why. I got seventh in buggy. But what happened was it was crazy. It was a guy out there that had the exact same color scheme. I had the, just my painted body, blue body, practice body on. But white wheels. He had the same one. So it was at night. I could have swore it was my car. And even my pit guy, JB, was like, dude, I thought that was you. I was like, no. Come find out. I'm up in the ditch. By then, I was too far behind. I came back. I grabbed the fifth. Then blew it finished seven but it was good but the qualifiers i did extremely well on the both qualifiers then um diff blew up not the diff but the bearing on the diff blew out so i had to fix that so i got some maintenance to do and clean these but i'm gonna get that done so uh yeah but that but the race was good it was good so i took this out and had no issues with the trailer well i had some but it wasn't really my fault <clears throat> Um, I was powering a couple people and the air conditioner right here um, would throw their chargers off as a reset because they was plugged directly into the, uh, the generator outside. Here, nothing clicked for me in here because I got this stuff separated, okay? 
So I had to turn the air off, let them charge up, do their thing, then that was it, really. So, all right. So I'm gonna break some stuff down to y'all, okay? Let's start here where the air conditioner's at. All right, wait, I told y'all about the floor. Okay, I'm gonna leave a link for the floor in the description. Okay? The air conditioner. The air conditioner I got from this place called RV Parts Country. Dot com. I'm going to leave a link in the description, okay? Now, when you go there to get this rooftop air conditioner, get look for the one that says complete. Now, they have uh, different ones. I want with the domatic one. You want the joint to say complete, meaning because you can just buy the rooftop part and not none of this or the control panel. Like, that's a separate deal and the heat strip, strip is separate. If you want the complete thing, because say you your top piece go out. You can just replace that. But I need the complete thing because I didn't have it. So the complete deal, you want complete, okay? And then you pick whatever color you want. I want with black, of course. But you want complete. And the complete come with the rooftop. And it come with the faceplate and the control panel. And then it's an option that says you want the heat strip. Click yes, heat strip, boom. So they gave me the heat strip too. All right, but just modular. You don't have to get um, this, that, this, that. You can get it pieces but i needed the complete setup all right it's called rvpartscountry.com i got the domatic 13.5 you can get other ones there that they have i just went with this because um i had the same one in the rv okay all right another thing question i got do i still have the rv yes i do it's just in storage that's it all right these lights i'm gonna leave a link for these lights in the description all right, these lights I got off Amazon, okay? Shout out to Amazon for keeping the product moving. I mean, I get it straight off the boat. I mean, straight off the boat. Now, they are modular, meaning you can unhook these cords here because they linkable, okay? Boom, 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 boom. And they come with different accessories. They come with a little switch that you can hook up to it, or you can move these closer, and they come with a... um. A little piece that'll go in there and make this like one long light if you want, whatever. Okay. And all I did was take it here. Yeah. Wire it in. They come with this little piece and I wired it into a switch for the lights. Switches over here. Okay. So what? Click, click on, off. All right. They work really good. Now. The crazy part is when I had it out there, geez, at night, man, it was it was bright as hell. I mean, I loved it. But the bugs, the bugs was attracted to it. So the magnetic um, curtain is good. So you open that up, walk out, see it closes automatically. So what I did was I put one here too. Okay. Now I gotta I gotta do all this again. All right now I just got it tacked up because I gotta hem it and all that, but. It's another one that works good, okay? So, boom. Shuts all the magnets. You'll just walk out. I got that on top of the nylon curtain, okay? Now, this adds some little bit of tinting to it a little bit. Um, but you still get good airflow coming in and it keeps the air and stuff in and out. But it still works good. This to try to keep the bugs out. Because what happened was when the wind blows, the bugs can get through that nylon curtain. And it was tracked to the light. So, this will help with that. Okay, I'm gonna leave a link for this in the description too. Okay, this is just called a magnetic um, or automatic closing magnetic curtain, screen curtain, something like that. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so I got told you about that. Let me tell you about power real quick. All right, this is a 30 amp service that I got set up. The outlet, I'm going to leave a link for the outlet outside. The outlet that I use for outside, I'm going to leave a link for that in the description. That is called the uh, RV Twist Lock. As a matter of fact, let's go out there. It's called the RV Twist Lock. Um, yeah, RV Twist Lock Outlet. Okay? Come with a rubber gasket on the outside. Pulls up against there. It's waterproofs it. It's like L30 or something like that. But I'll leave a link for that, okay? Drill the hole, put that in, got that off of Amazon. Plugs in, twist lock, 30 amp service. All right, so now let's go back in, okay? So 
ran the wire up. You're gonna need a 30 amp gauge wire, okay? A wire that can handle 30 amps coming in. Boom, now. First one, air conditioner, 20 amp, okay? For the air conditioner. Then I got two 15s to separate in the outlets and the um, lights and stuff, okay? 15, 15, but it's 30 amp service, all right? So we, okay, so you understand that. You can go with the two spot breaker box, but I wanted a little bit more uh, adjustability or whatever. So I went with this, okay? Got that from Home Depot. You can get any one you want, all right? Okay, let me see what else I can tell y'all. Okay, the curtains, the nylon curtain. I'm gonna leave a description, I mean, link in the description for the curtains. The curtains come in basically to fit like, let's say a 36 inch door, a regular doorway. So I got two of them, okay? Cause I needed to stretch across here. It comes with everything in the rails. That's up here. Get you in here. Uh, no, let's go outside. Y'all can see better outside. Okay. They come with everything you're going to need. And they just go link into there like that. Clip, clip. Now, you're going to need two of them if you're trying to do this particular type of situation. Okay. So I got two of them. And they stretch across. Now with the rails, you put them up. You're going to have to cut some of it off. I just drummed off what I didn't need. Clip and put them in. Okay. Now. They will stick together. In my other video, I said, yeah, I don't like because they stick together. And one guy said, you got to let some dirt get on them or whatever. And he was right. Now they don't stick together. Once that dirt blew up on them and everything, a little bit of dust, they fine now. They drop. It's no problem. You're going to have to trim the bottoms. You know what I mean? Once you get it on there. See this curtain? I got to trim all this. I just got this, like, temporarily right now. But I got to hem all that. All right. <clears throat> so that's them. And they do work. What else questions did I get? Um, I got a lot. Oh, okay. The way I got everything strapped in here, nothing fell down by driving. Nothing. Everything was great. Only issue, refrigerator. And you got your drinks in there, right? Open this very slowly. Because when I got to the track and opened up, stuff fell out. Because it was getting crazy in there. But just open that very slowly, and that was good. That was fine. Uh, that's really it, people, okay? Yeah, that's really it. So, this is basically the finished product. This is how she's going to stay. The bungee cords go for the drawers and stuff. I just strap the drawers down like this. Hooks here. One at the bottom. I hook them. Keep them closed. They work great. I might paint these cabinets, maybe. But uh, it ain't very really a big deal right now. All right. Okay. So, people, that's really all I could tell y'all. That's all the that information I could really tell y'all. Um, link's going to be in the description. Um, and also, there's a couple races that came up. And I wanted to tell y'all about them, but they filled up so quickly. So, the best thing, people, for y'all to do, get on Facebook. And when these races come up, you have to be able to pay and be ready because the spots are limited. Like G's is only limited 25 um, entries. So he's basically racing like every weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Um, Oval guys is Saturday morning, Ape scale off road, or I ain't gonna say Ape scale because he has some tents out there too. But off road is at night, like starts at 5 p.m. and Sunday is off road. Okay, get on Facebook and um, I'm gonna put the link in the description. For um G's. It's called well we know it as G's, but it's called um R2 HQ now. I think he changed the name. Regional two headquarters or something like that. Alright. Leave a link in the description. That way you click there, boom, like it or whatever. That way you can get the information when the race is coming up and you can pay. Okay. Alrighty. Um Adrenaline is racing this weekend. That spring fling um race that postponed is this weekend. I'm trying to see if I can make that, but I doubt it because I already got prior engagement to deal with. But um, they want y'all to register so they know how many heads or whatever is coming. But it's this weekend that's coming up for that race, okay? Uh, what else I got to tell y'all? That's basically it, people, all right? So the trailer's popping. Everything's coming along really well, and she's really done. Um, it was really nice using this the other night, and that's it.
All right. All right, people. So I was in here watching a little bit of Netflix, getting stuff together. I'm about to do some wrenching. And um, that's it. All right. All right, people. So this is your man, Rajay 111. I'm here. Finally got this pretty much done. I still got to paint that, but I'll get to it. Right now, it's not bothering me, but I'll get to it. All right, people. Oh, also, this is bolted to the wall, so it doesn't move. All right. All right, peeps. Let me get up out of here. All right, this is your man, Rajay 111. See you on the next one. Peace.